Live Johan Ullmann is a Norwegian actress and film director. Ullmann is also one of the muses of the Swedish director Inmar Bergman. Nominated five times for a Best Actress Golden Globe Award, winning the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress a Euro Motion Picture Drama during 1972 for the drama movie The Emigrants, Ullmann has also been nominated for the Palm Dog, twice for the Academy Award, and twice for a BAFTA Film Award. Early life Ullman was born in Tokyo, Japan, the daughter of Vidgo Ullman, a Norwegian aircraft engineer who was working in Tokyo at the time, and Jana, also Norwegian. When she was two years old, the family relocated to Toronto, Ontario, Canada, where her father worked at the Norwegian Air Force Base on Toronto Island during World War II. Four years later, her father died of a brain tumor, an event that affected her greatly. Career Ullman began her acting career as a stage actress in Norway during the mid-1950s. She continued to act in theatre for most of her career, and became noted for her portrayal of Nora in Henrik Ibsen's play A Doll's House, but became better known once she started to work with Swedish movie director Inmar Bergman. She later acted, with acclaim, for ten of his most admired movies, including Persona, The Passion of Anna, Cries and Whispers and Autumn Sonata in which her co-actress, Ingrid Bergman, resumed her Swedish cinema career. She co-acted often with Swedish actor and fellow Bergman collaborator, Erland Josephson, with whom she made the Swedish television drama, Scenes from a Marriage, which was also edited to feature movie length and distributed theatrically. Ullman acted with Laurence Olivier in A Bridge Too Far, directed by Richard Attenborough. Nominated more than 40 times for awards, including various Lifetime Achievement Awards, she won the Best Actress Prize three times from the National Society of Film Critics, three times from the National Board of Review, received three awards from the New York Film Critics Circle and a Golden Globe. During 1971, Ullman was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress for the movie The Emigrants, and again during 1976 for the movie Face to Face. Ullman made her New York City stage debut in 1975 also in A Doll's House. Appearances in Anna Christie and Ghosts followed, as well as the less-than-successful musical version of I Remember Mama. This show, composed by Richard Rogers, experienced numerous revisions during a long preview period, then closed after 108 performances. She also featured in the widely deprecated musical movie remake of Lost Horizon during 1973. In 1980 Brian De Palma, who directed Carrie, wanted Liv Ullman to play the role as Kate Miller in the erotic crime thriller Dress to Kill and offered her the role, but she declined because of the violence. The role then went on to Angie Dickinson. In 1982 Inmar Bergman wanted Ullman to play the main role as Emily Ekdal in his last feature film, Fanny and Alexander, and wrote this role for her with this in mind. But Ullman felt this role was too sad and declined. Livelman later stated in interviews that turning down the role was one of the few things she really regrets. During 1984 she was chairperson of the jury at the 34th Berlin International Film Festival, and during 2002 chaired the jury of Cannes Film Festival. She introduced her daughter, Lynn Ullman, to the audience with the words, Here comes the woman whom Anmar Bergman loves the most. Her daughter was there to receive the prize of honor on behalf of her father. She would return to serve the jury herself during 2011. In 2004 Ullman revealed that she had gotten an offer in November 2003 to play in the popular American show, Sex and the City. Ullman was amused by the offer and said that it was one of the few she actually regularly watched, but she turned down the offer. Later that year Steven Soderbergh wrote a role specially for Liv Ullman in the movie Ocean's 12 and offered her this role, but also this role was turned down by Ullman. Ullman narrated the Kannada Euro Norway co produced animated short movie The Danish Poet, which won the Academy Award for Animated Short Film at the 79th Academy Awards during 2007. In 2008, she was the head of the jury at the 30th Moscow International Film Festival. She published two autobiographies, Changing and Choices. During 2012, she attended the International Indian Film Academy Awards in Singapore where she was honored for her outstanding contributions to international cinema and she also showed her movie on her relationship with Inmar Bergman. Directing career, 
Ullman's first film is a director was Sophie, in which she directed her friend and former co-actor, Erland Josephson. She later directed the Bergman-composed movie Faithless and reprised her role for scenes from A Marriage in Saraband, Bergman's final telemovie. Faithless garnered nominations for both the Palme d'Or and Best Actress at the Cannes Film Festival. During 2006 Ullman announced that she had been forced to end her long-time wish of making a movie based on A Doll's house. According to her statement, the Norwegian Film Fund was preventing her and Ritex Top GRNSTAD from pursuing the project. Australian actress Kate Blanket and British actress Kate Winslet had been cast intended in the main roles of the movie. She later directed Blanket in the play A Streetcar Named Desire, by Tennessee Williams, at the Sydney Theatre Company in Sydney, Australia, which was performed September through October 2009, and then continued from October 29 to November 21, 2009 at the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in Washington, D.C., where it won a Helen Hayes Award for Outstanding Non-Resident Production as well as Actress and Supporting Performer for 2009. The play was also performed at the Brooklyn Academy of Music in Brooklyn, New York. In 2013 it was announced that Ullman would direct a film adaptation of Miss Julie. The film, set to be released in 2014, stars Jessica Chastain, Colin Farrell and Samantha Morton. Personal life, in addition to Norwegian, Ullman speaks Swedish, English and other European languages. Ullman has been married and divorced twice. Her first marriage was to Hans Jacob Stang, a Norwegian psychiatrist, whom she divorced during 1965. According to her biographer, Kittilp Jrnstad, the marriage was marred by infidelities on both sides. She had a long affair with her colleague, Enmar Bergman, from 1965-70. One result of the affair was her only child, Lynn Ullman, born August 9, 1966. During the 1980s, she married Boston real estate developer Donald Saunders, whom she divorced during 1995. The couple continued to live together until 2007. She is a UNICEF Goodwill ambassador and has traveled widely for the organization. She is also co-founder and honorary chair of the Women's Refugee Commission. In 2005, King Harold V of Norway made Ullman a commander with Star of the Order of St. Olav. In 2006, she received a Ph.D. honoris causa from the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. Filmography, the Danish poet won its director Toril Kopp the Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film at the 79th Academy Awards. Awards, 2006, Ibsen Centennial Commemoration Award, 2012, International Indian Film Academy Awards for Outstanding Contribution to International Cinema, see also, List of film and television directors, List of theatre directors in the 20th 21st centuries, List of Norwegian actresses, List of Norwegian writers, references. Further reading Robert Emmett Long, Ed Livelman, Interviews. University Press of Mississippi. ISBN 1 57806 823 1, 1 57806 824x. Collected interviews with Ullman. David Outerbridge. Without Makeup, Liv Ullman, a photo biography. New York City, William Morrow and Company. ISBN 0 688 one Liv Ullman. Changing. New York City, not pf. ISBN 0 394 41148x. Autobiography. Livelman. Choices. New York, not pf. ISBN 0 394 9 ISBN 978-0-394-53986-7. Autobiography. External links. Livelman at the Internet Broadway Database. Livelman at the Internet Movie Database. Livelman at the Notable Names Database, Livelman at the TCM Movie Database, works by or about Livelman in libraries, Livelman collected news and commentary at the New York Times, The Guardian NFT interview with Shane Danielson, January 23, 2001, 
Peter Bradshaw Review of Troller Paragraphs R, The Guardian, February 9, 2001, A 1980 Interview for the Yugoslav Television on YouTube.